the way the company was launched was a pile of timber was delivered to uh, a project that my brother was doing, which is just up there, and uh, Ed was designing the garden. They wanted a gate. Ed said, could we use some of that timber? Dad said, we'll try making a split gate. Dad made it, and it was just a beautiful, simple garden gate, and everyone loved it, and it launched the company, really. Dad's grown up here. He, he knows, you know, he's friends with lots of the farmers around here, lots of the people around here. They have a tree that comes down, and really that tree is gonna be logs, but there's some good timber in, in a lot of those trees. So it started off that way. One tree would come down, get a phone call or ask, and then we'd, we'd got a hold of a big saw that could sl slab the timber. And we tend to use sweet chestnut and oak. The main reason being is they're both durable timbers difficult to judge where how you're going to fit the joint together because you've got lots of different planes to to take into account. There's less waste than cutting because you're particularly with chestnut splitting it you know you're going with the grain so you're not cutting through the grain cutting sections off and actually can help with the strength as well depending but uh, you know they can be stronger because they're following the natural grain of the timber. I was always into woodwork at school. I was always in the design department. Dad has been involved in building, construction, and forestry. Ed's a designer, so it just worked. Been a few arguments along the way. It makes for a better relationship. It makes for better work as well, so we can be quite honest with each other. A few years ago, my mum and dad bought a woodland um, with a large amount of sweet chestnut. And now that, that's a source of all of the chestnut that we need. The woodland's beautiful. It's also a nice place to go and sit. Dad's has got experience in forestry. He's worked in quite a lot of the woodlands around this area. To be able to pick out the piece of timber that you need from one of those standing trees is not easy, and he seems to be able to achieve that. Ed is an extremely talented designer. He's a landscape architect in London. He's got that ability to visualize the space and pick out what the, the client wants and comes up with great designs. Dad is sort of more uh, around getting the timber and then I'm between the design and getting the timber down to the workshop. And then there's Mark who's come on board about a year ago. He's got that eye for it. The larger projects, I think, the larger pieces of timber, I quite enjoy that. Ed brings a drawing and you look at it and you scratch your head for a long time. Then me and Dad will chat, discuss where we're going to find the timber from, how can we adapt this slightly, you know, can we adapt it slightly, because Ed's got a very clear vision. The furniture that you make tends to be simple joinery. The complex part of it is with the shapes that you're working with. So it might be a simple tenon and mortise joint but actually you're joining two curved pieces. Makes it very difficult. We can turn our hands to things. So looking at the bigger picture, knowing how to get that idea to the finished piece, 